First of all, allow me to greet everyone a pleasant day. Sana po ay safe kayong lahat. And of course, allow me first to express my gratitude to Sultan Kundarat Division for inviting me here as one of your judges no? sa inyong first ever Journal Olympics. A special thanks is also given to SDS Leonardo Ambalala Sese and of course to your ever dynamic uh, English supervisor, Ma'am Grace Laysa. And would like to say hi as well to my fellow swords, CJ, uh, Mark Carlo Buyao, and Sir Jason Fontanilla. So what will happen today is that I'll be giving constructive criticisms to the outputs of the order indoors to me um, via your technical working group in the different events like collaborative desktop publishing, um, TV broadcasting, and online publishing. So I'll be giving a sort of um, constructive criticism. I'll be pointing out good points in your outputs as well as the areas or suggestions for improvement. Along the way, I'll be as well giving you uh, some inputs on in how to improve your work and of course, some a little bit of lecture, uh, especially on the collaborative desktop publishing part because that is my expertise. No? Uh, disclaimer, na po, all of the insights that you will be receiving from me today is not solely coming from my my intellect no it's a product of experience and of course constant exposure to different competitions and seminars that i have attended in the past so i hope uh you'll be listening very well and i hope you can gain a lot of insights so simulan po natin ang pagbibigay ng constructive criticism sa unang event natin ang collaborative desktop publishing Uh, sa pagkakaalam ko po, meron lang mo tatlong entries ang nais- naisumiti sa akin and those three entries belong to the secondary level uh, saka sa English category. Now, simulan po natin or bago po natin bibigay ang saktong criticism or mga suggestions natin for improvement, alamin muna natin kung ano ba talaga ang desktop. In terms of the size, we are using the A4 size na papel at saka nakaported orientation. So, it is expected na bawat participants ay nakaset up yung kanilang mga mga page sizes into 8.27 inches that is wide or the width niya at saka yung length niya is uh, 11.69 inches so that is the size sunod naman ay pag-uusapan natin ang features ng bawat page at kung ano ang dapat maging itsura ng page na yan for news page no dapat maging formal and masculine in nature siya meaning you need to choose a particular font style that is conforming to formality and masculinity ano ba yung mga font styles na yan? We can use Arial, we can use Calibri, we can use Times New Roman, and others which depicts formality and masculinity. So, yun po yung mga, yung mga, mga font styles na pwede nating magamit. Huwag gumamit ng mga, parang mga, mga cursive na mga font style because they do not show formality. Graded articles. Ano bang ibig sabihin na to? So, it is the responsibility of the editorial staff to determine to predetermine which among uh, the list of of articles ang may pinaka mabigat na content no if you're able to determine kung saan sa kanila ang pinaka mabigat that should be the one receiving the biggest and the boldest and will occupy the largest space on your paper so ganun po ang paggrade ng articles and so on and so forth no So, the bigger the headlines or the bigger the photo, ibig sabihin, ganun ka-importante yung balitang yan. At saka the lesser the headline or the thinner, the, the thinner the, the headline, meaning, hindi gaano importante. Next, number three, pictures are impactful. Pumili kayo ng picture na moving picture or action photo. No? Uh, I would like to discourage using buildings as your ano, as your um, banner photo kasi they do not show any any story at all except na lang if that particular place tells a lot of story. However, uh, since hindi kami familiar or hindi na sa atin familiar sa mga building na pinapakita ninyo, uh, it's just merely an aesthetics to the paper kung huwag nilagay nyo lang dyan. Lahat ng photo na ilanagay natin sa desktop publishing output natin ay kailangan may sense at may pakinabang. Next, it number four, established personality. So, yung established personality na sinasabi natin dyan ay ang pagpili natin ng kulay. And thus, this must be consistent all throughout the pages. Next, uh, editorial page. Ano bang nakikita natin sa editorial page? No? Ano bang 
uh, opinion page, I mean. Ano ba talaga ang itsura ng opinion page? Ang opinion page class ay dapat, kagaya ng ating news page, kailangan formal and masculine in nature siya. So, gamitin din ang kaparehong suggested na mga font styles sa sinabi ko kanina. And it must be dignified. Kasi nga, opinion page siya. Kailangan uh, dignified ang mga letters or ang mga font styles na gagamitin natin. Of course, uh, do not limit to one only, to one article yung ating editorial page kasi boring siyang basahin kung editorial lang ang nandyan. Kailangan may editorial ka- cartoon, kailangan may columns. Ang pagkakaiba ng editorial at saka column is that yung editorial kasi is uh, may nag- walang nagmamayari or walang byline or walang pangalang sumulat sa editorial kasi nga editorial is the official stand of the whole school paper or all of all of the whole publication meaning uh, ang editorial board lahat ng nasa editorial board ang may-ari ng opinion na yon samantalang ang column naman they are, they follow the same structure in terms of writing however there is a sense of ownership no pwedeng pangalanan ang taong sumulat ng ng article or ng opinion na yan kasi nga there is a sense of ownership kaya napapansin yun minsan sa mga editorial at opinion pages natin sa mga Philippine Daily Inquirer at Manila Bulletin, merong mukha ng taong sumulat. No? So they're entitled of whatever they write there. So that's their own opinion. And that does not necessarily reflect the opinion of the whole publication. No? And then pwede din tayong maglagay ng mga infographics. So that's opinion page. Next one is the feature page. So, sa feature page naman, medyo may kalayaan na tayo sa pagde-design. No? Bakit? Kasi, feminine in appearance itong tinatawag nating uh, tinatawag nating feature page. Depende sa mood ng depende sa mood ng article, pwede niyong paglaruan yung yung tawag nito, yung font style, especially sa headline. Huwag niyong, pero yung body, I suggest that it should remain uh, masculine and at standard in nature. Pero yung sa tinatawag nating headline, pwede yung paglaruan ang uh, font styles natin. Fonts can be artistic. Some designs use picture as backdrop. Lagaya nito, may mga picture dyan na ginagawang backdrop. Pangapat, columns are creative. Itong columns naman, I'm not talking about the column na nasa editorial page. Columns means yung mga parang pillars na nandyan. Natignan nyo, you can break or you can make the columns curve, no? It, uh, it is something that uh, consult to your creativity. And of course, you can add infographics. For sports page naman, uh, ang sports page dapat action pack, no? Dapat pumili ng mga, ng mga what? Ng mga font style na nagpapakita ng um, bolder and livelier na aura, no? Na, na, na image, no? Kagaya ng, init, ng, ng tawag nito, kagaya ng impact, gaya ng aerial, aerial black, aerial bold, pwedeng gumamit na ganun. Tapos, ang mga pictures, um, I discourage using pictures na nagpapakita na yung, yung athlete nakareceive ng medal because that does not show how events unfolded in the competition. That's just the aftermath of the event. Now, I suggest that when you put picture here, it must be action photo na nagpapakita na yung journey ng tao kung bakit siya naka, naka-receive ng medal. So, that's it. So, always include what? Action photo. And of course, if there are infographics available, you can use infographics. So, those are the basic concepts na pwede natin ituro. O, pwede natin pag-isipan, pwede natin isaisip if you're planning to go or to proceed with what? To proceed with a career in journalism someday. Uh, pwede pwede yan. And of course, if you want to join competitions, if you are aspiring to win in the Division Schools Press Conference, going to the National Schools Press Conference, you can use as well this one. Next, punta tayo sa mga output ninyo. Now, I'm so impressed with with the outputs that are presented or that are endorsed to me. It simply shows na yung mga layout artists natin ay talagang uh, biha sana sa paggamit ng kung anong mga application ang ginagamit nila. Now, however, I would like to indicate yung mga important points na pwede pa nilang ma-improve. No? Pero, uh, seeing their outputs like this, eh, masasabi nating may sense na ng professionalism in terms sa paggamit ng mga tools sa application na ginagamit nila. So, let's begin. 
no? Unang-una nating bibigyan ng bibigyan ng criticisms or constructive criticism eh itong kulay green. Sigay. What are the good points of this output, no? The good point is that articles are clearly graded. Makikita talaga natin dito sa pamamagitan ng kanilang headline kung saan dyan ang importanteng balita. As I said earlier, those and those articles receiving a uh, huge space or that is covering a bigger space and receiving bigger headlines are deemed to be special and important. In this case, ito, a step towards emergency preparedness ang uh, sa tingin ko ang kinilang pinaka-importanteng balita. So, basic parts are there. Yung nameplate, yung pictures, the photo, the body text, at saka yung index. No? Then, the design conforms to the color theory. Itong color theory, i-discuss natin yan mamaya. Nameplate is recognizable. Ito yung pinaka-importante. Sometimes, may iba kasi mga publication na they are forsaking or they're not paying uh, paying attention to to whether or not their nameplate is recognizable. Importante pa yung pangalan na publication. No? Hindi lang siya parang andyan to fill the gap, but they play an important role yung mga nameplates natin. So, now, let's proceed with suggestions for improvement. Na sa front page natin, sa news page natin, uh, etong balita ninyo, dalawang balita, actually, this is okay, pero mas magiging excellent siya kung mag add kayo ng another article. Now, let us not uh, be thrifty in in what? In giving information to our lead readers. Remember, uh, they are there to read as, uh, to read because they would want to learn a lot, no? So, you need to put a wealth of information in your in your output. If you are planning to put put a publication to print it and distribute it to the to the public or to the community or to the school community, please bear in mind that your goal there is to provide as much as as much information to your to your readers. Now, this is okay, but I would like to suggest to add another article which might be related to these articles at hand, no? Pwedeng sidebar siya or an infographics. Uh, kung manotis ninyo yung index or yung table of contents ng balitang ito or yung the news page na ito, it consumes a lot of space, no? Siguro, palitan lang natin yung size ng ating index. Sayang kasi yung space na pwede natin i adapt for uh, infographics or additional articles, no? So, the page looks congested. Kung makikita ninyo, parang siksikling-ling yung ating page. Kasi nga, ano, parang nawala na sa margin or kinonsume talaga ang margin. What makes it congested is that yung ating size kasi ng font ay hindi consistent. Now, you can decrease your font up to 7, no? Pwedeng-pwede yan. 7 ang size. Pwede. Medyo maliit pero pwede na yan kasi nagbabasa yan. And what makes it congested as well is that you made use of the what we call a justified na tawag nito na organization ng inyong paragraphs. Kasi pag ginawa niyong justified yan, of course, it will fill in all the white spaces, no? No, ng ating, ng ating canvas or ng ating page. Remember that white spaces are also important. Bakit? They provide an avenue for your article to breathe. No? Hindi siya strain no sa mata at saka may, may chance pa ang mata na makapag, makapahinga because of those white spaces. So, you can use the justify sparingly but not always. No? Photos must have exact caption except for the feature page. Ito yung nakaligtaan ng publication na to, ang pagbibigay ng caption sa tawag nito sa photo. Kasi importante yan na mabigyan ng detalye kung sino ba yung nakakap na blue, kung sino ba yung nakakap na orange, yung mga may cap na oranges, dyan kasi sino ba yung nakasakay sa kalabaw. So, those are the information that you need to to improve. No? Give room for white spaces. This will give your page a breather. Please be consistent with your font size. Now, if you use 7 as a font size in your body, lahat-lahat na yan 7 until sa second pages and down to the last page. Now, if there are spaces dahil in-attempt natin na i-decrease yung size ng ating 
ng ating body, no, ng ating mga phones sa body, there are chances that you'll be leaving a gap in your page, no? So, if it so happen na may space dyan, kasi nga na, na-decrease natin yung size ng ating, ng ating text or yung ng ating paragraph, you could add infographics related to the article that you have put into your, to your what? Into your article. So, pwede natin gamitin ang mga charts, mga pie charts, mga diagrams na ito, uh, not only to fill space but to add additional information and to make a graphical representation sa mga data na na-present mo sa iyong article. So, those are infographics. And these infographics can be done using simple tools like uh, like PowerPoint, like Adobe Excel, uh, like Microsoft Excel. Pwedeng gawin yan. At saka sabi ko kanina, ang nakalitaang ilagay ng ating uh, entry number one is the caption. Paano ba gumawa ng caption? No? Of course, we need to, fir- to have first the catch line. Ano ba tong caps line? catch line? This is a brief catchy title of the caption usually in capital letters and it is in bold face orientation, no? So, in this example, yung catch line dito, just on time. Now, paano naman isulat yung sunod na part, which is the body? It explains or describes the picture or illustration in italics with font size smaller than the text of the newsletter or the news story. So, mas maliit ng konti ang font size nito. And uh, if you're writing... Uh, if you are writing the description or the body, follow this pattern. Who, what, so what? No? Who, what, so what? And credit. Ano pang nandyan? So credit means the attributes of or the source of the picture. So ilagay kung sino ang kumuha ng photo na to. So in this case, sa example natin, is si Anton Mantahinay. Next entry is grandeur. Now on the good points of this output is that of course, you can clearly see that the articles graded basing on kung saan ang pinakamalaking uh, headline dyan or kung ano yung portion na mas kumuha ng malaking space. Now, basic parts are present. Meron silang title or name page. Meron din silang folio. Meron din silang index. And uh, what is commendable about this output na wala sa isa is the use of uh, infographics. No? May infographics sila na tungkol sa uh, sino ang agree about the, uh, the upcoming face-to-face classes. Now, suggestions for improvement. The color of the template, kung mapapansin ninyo, is unrecognizable simply because it does not match the overall what? The overall makeup of the paper. So, parang off yung kanyang uh, combination compared to the rest of the page. Now, let me talk to you about Paano ba talaga mag-color combine sa ating o pa- paano pumili ng kulay for the publication? Please be guided of this color theory. Na pagpipili ng kulay, we can follow monochromatic, complementary, and analogous scheme. Pag monochromatic, kailangan yung ating kulay na pipiliin is um, coming from the same family groups of color. Like the same shades and the same pinks of one color only. Pag sky and blue siya, you can use different shades of blue or tints of red or tints of yellow. Now, complementary color naman is, are the colors opposite to each other in the color wheel. No? Ito yung color wheel natin. And they are arranged uh, scientifically na kaya naman nagiging maganda yung combination niya. Two colors located opposite from each other on the color wheel. So, complementary color po we can use analogous, yung tatlong kulay na magkasunod-sunod, colors that are adjacent to each other on the color wheel. So remember that when choosing colors sa ating, ano, colors para maging makeup natin sa ating layout or design ng ating publication, please be guided with this color theory. Monochromatic, complementary, and analogous. So going back, no? So palitan lang siguro natin yung kulay, no? Ng ating word ay uh, yung grand there kasi hindi siya recognizable. Next, banner photo must be an action photo or an angled shot that depicts more stories. Ito, pag binigyan natin ng building, eh, parang party lang siya ng design. So, what is important about the banner picture, it's that it must tell story right away. Ito, hindi pa natin 
kuha ko ano bang ibig sabihin ng mga buildings na yan, no? Next, another suggestion for remove the teal box, teal tick box at the bottom. Ito, itong tick, uh, yung parang teal na line or box dito, tanggalin na lang yan because it is choking the paragraph before it. Parang nagiging congested yung paragraph niya. I know the attempt na para ma-highlight niyo yung, niyo yung margin niya, pero it does not serve the purpose, no? Kasi nga, parang kumukonti yung space for the article or for the paragraph. So, yan. Next, another entry is from the heel side. What is good about this particular paper, no? The good point is that by far, uh, the best team with a very good new storyline app. Kasi naman, ang gaganda po ng headline at of course, ang ganda ng content ng ganilang front page. Now, why did I say so? Kasi may mga hard facts sila, may mga numerical data sila na pinapakita. And that's important in giving up news. Mas maganda na may figure talaga sa pagbabalita. No? Like for example, 15K worth of uh, donated goods to 40 household. So klarong-klaro kung, uh, kung ano bang detalye ang nais niyang banggitin. No? Compared to those na unang mga headline eh, hindi pa talaga klaro, and hindi pa specific yung mga balita no kasi nga they lack figures now maganda din ang paggagamit ng or pagkagawa ng tawag nito taw, pagkagawa ng ng infographics ginamit nila yung SDS si Sir SDS Leonardo Bala na as what one of the infographics so its aesthetic value is off the chart no maganda and the font size are consistent malalaman mo talaga kung pare-parehong Sizes ng fonts ang ginamit nila upon first glance. Now, what are the suggestions for improvement para sa parting ito? Adjust the exposure or the level of brightness sa banner photo. Kasi medyo, what, dark pa yung photo. Kailangan talaga ang illuminate pa ng konti. And watch out and avoid the sea of gray or yung mga vacant spaces, especially on the index part. What do I mean by that? Kapag sinabi natin sea of gray, kung sa radio broadcasting or sa TV broadcasting ito mga kaibigan, ito po yung dead air. Now, ito a sea of gray sa unang example natin ay makikita sa likod ng mga fingers natin, dalawang fingers natin, no? Sa likod. No, parang may mga white spaces dyan and it looks off sa unang tingin pa lang. Now, kagaya ng example natin kanina sa ating what? Sa ating third na entry, meron siya nakakumit sila ng sea of gray sa kanilang index. Now, parang may mga, may hollow area dito, may empty space na ito na kailangan punan. To, to correct that one, pwedeng maglagay kayo ng description or, or another, another graphics no? para mawala lang itong vacant space na yan. Likan natin ngayon yung output ng entry number one sa kanilang editorial. Uh, feature and sports page. May common lang ako na suggestions dito na observable talaga is, and that is yung pagkakalayout nila is that uh, it seems that uh, everything is congested na, and there are areas there na parang masyadong malaki for that space. For example, so opinion page, pwede na sanang paliitin yung mga ano yung mga names at saka in fact pwede nang tanggalin yung mukha ng ating mga editorial stuff na no, pwede na siyang tanggalin so that to give room sa other important entries ng isang editorial page aside from the editorial main editorial mismo at saka wala talagang main editorial dyan kasi nga nilagyan nyo ng byline yung editorial ninyo Ivan T. Baroga so ibig sabihin ang page na ito ay mayroon lang column so, ang pinaka-importante sa opinion page, ladies and gentlemen, ay ang pagkakaroon natin ng, ng isang editorial na mag-represent or magpapakita sa totality ng opinion ng uh, editorial staff. Lahat ng editorial staff tungkol sa balitang inyong itinampok sa inyong news page. Pero ang, uh, sa, sa parting ito ng entry number one ay wala pong editorial. Ang meron lang dyan is column. What makes it a column is that nilagyan nyo kasi ng pangalan ng sumulat. So the rest of the pages have received the same kind or received the same kind of uh, criticism kasi nga parang napaka, napaka ano, napaka compact at napaka congested ng pagkakalayout. No? 
dahil siguro yan sa pagja-justify. Sa sports page naman, uh, I would suggest na uh, wag niyong tabunan or avoid overlaying text on top of the photo kasi parang ang pangit tingnan kung naka-overlay yung text sa photo. So find ways no para hindi siya ma-over uh, ma-overlay. You can crop or you can you can uh, remove the background of Heidelin Dia so that the empty spaces will be allotted for the text no para maiwasan din yung pag-overlap. Sa second entry naman, let's proceed no sa kanilang uh, ano Uh, I'll be giving my comments briefly sa kanilang editorial page. Uh, what is good about the editorial page of the second entry is that uh, ando na lahat no, ng components. Meron silang cartoon at saka hindi lang limited into one article only ang kanilang editorial page. Kompleto, meron silang editorial. No? editorial. Kaso nga lang walang label. So if ever nagagawa kayo ng editorial, kailangan may may label talaga na editorial unless we would consider that one as a column. So, meron din sila ditong, tawag nito, meron din sila ditong letter to editor, to the editor, and the response of the readers. And, yeah, or the response of the editor, I mean. And then, what is good about this editorial page as well is that yung pagkaka-organize ng kanilang uh, editorial board. Uh, more so, uh, siguro, ang mako-comment ko lang dito is that Uh, i-remove natin yung till bar na nasa gilid ng editorial. I believe that one is an editorial. I-remove siya kasi nakokongest niya yung area no? na nawawala yung supposed to be space for yung breathing space supposed to be ng pagka-flash left mo sa inyong article. So, editorial article. And please limit the backdrop color. As what I have mentioned a while ago, importante pa may makita tayong white space or white space para maka, ma, maka, maka, makahinga po yung ating page. So that's it for your editorial for the second entry. The, third, uh, the, the feature page of the second entry looks amazing, aesthetically appealing. Uh, and what's important here is that hindi lang puro text ang nakikita natin, meron din silang infographics. No? And what I appreciate the most is that All of the articles here are anchored on one theme and that is mother. No? That is mother. So we have here... I am a 17-year-old mother and then the mother's journey or untold story of a mother's journey. But as I have suggest, do not overdo the application of backdrop color. White spaces are also important para, sabi ko nga kanina, para maka, makahinga naman yung ating paper. And for the last page, the second entry, the sports page, so I acknowledge and I appreciate The inclusion of action photos, magaling ang pagkakakuha or pagkakashoot ng photos. And then aesthetically appealing siya. However, I would suggest na baguhin na yung hammer na savage because it's too heavy for the overall message of the article. And I understand that uh, that particular savage term is an e-gaming jargon, but it does not embody the total information that the article would want to convey. So... Uh, please uh, change that one kasi pag sinabi natin savage parang napaka heavy siya and then please be consistent with your font size, iba-iba yung font size natin so uh, use only one font size if you must no? in merong white space, nakakahinga yung papel so maganda ang pagkakalayout ng, ng sports page na ito so that's all for the second entry Now, let's proceed to the third and la- but not the least entry. So, ito yung kinomen ko kanina na may magandang uh, news article lineup. Uh, tingnan natin. So, sa opinion page nila, okay. So, siguro ang hindi ko lang gusto dito is yung tawag nito. Yung pagkaka-include ng parang gradient sa baba ng backdrop color. Okay na siguro tong wala. Yung mas head dito is yun. Siguro tanggalin na yung uh, application ng effects na bevel in emboss sa inyong masthead or sa editorial staff kasi uh, mas magandang flat tignan yung ating yung ating uh, design ng ating uh, opinion page. And kung mapapansin natin, ang folio consumes a lot of space sa taas. Pwede naman sigurong uh, palitan yung ano size ng ating uh, folio. And hindi pa siya 
yung yung editorial page na ito is hindi pa sa siksiklig lig ng information no parang editorial lang ang meron pero what's good about this editorial page is that yung title niya is very interesting no ng editorial hybrid education a new face to face no napakagaling so kulang lang talaga ng additional information additional na mga articles like like a column perhaps or a letter to the editor para ma- maging perfect na yung yung pagkakagawa ng editorial or opinion page ninyo. Sa ibang articles naman, sa ibang page naman, ito, mm, sa feature page, siguro ilimit lang natin yung paglalagay natin ng backdrop color. So, okay na yun. Uh, Na-overdo kasi yung paglalagay ng backdrop color. And remember, when you print this one out, uh, kung sa totoong competition talaga ito, ipiprint kasi ito. And once you apply background color, it might affect the quality of your output simply because it would make, certainly make your paper very wet. No? At iniiniwasan natin yon. At saka, alam ko, na ordinary band paper lang ang gagamitin natin. So, iba kasi yung timpla or iba kasi yung output na na-print kesa sa visual na nakikita natin on a flat screen. No, so be careful with that. So I prefer pa rin yung white background. You you may put background color but sparingly. Hindi always, no? Hindi kagaya nito na parang tinambakan. And I suggest that you vary the columns, no? Parang puro ata, ano, puro ata ito one column lang ang feature article. So parang gawin natin siyang uh, two columns sa taas, one column sa baba. So you need you do, do it, you need to do it in a variety of way. So that's for the the feature page. For the sports page na Manila, lastly, maraming sea of gray ako nakikita almost no sa taas sa baba. So maraming vacant spaces. In fact, itong parang background ng ng may nagkakarera, I consider that one um an empty space simply because you reduce the opacity or you you reduce or you increase the transparency of the background. So iwasan niya ng sa pamamagitan ng pagdagdag pa ng mga information and article. And suggestions para mas maging appealing pa yung ating sports page, eh pwede kayo maglagay ng infographics related to the sport that you are covering. So those are uh, my uh, suggestions and a little bit of insights for uh, collaborative desktop publishing. So let's proceed with the next event, which is a TV broadcasting. Now, uh, to tell you frankly, ladies and gentlemen, the future of Sultan Kudarat Division in this event is very bright simply because ang daming magagaling na broadcaster, especially video editors sa, sa hanay ninyo, no? sa inyo roster. Uh, I would like to commend uh, the video editors ng grupo. Uh, I hope you'll be maintaining the same consistency kapag time pressure ng labanan during the the future no uh, schools press conferences but at this moment as i was totally in awe seeing your output simply because uh, parang professional looking na talaga yung mga graphics na ina-apply ninyo and uh, not to mention magagaling din ang ating mga ang ating mga reporters and news anchors siguro konting polish lang sa ating mga dictions and delivery and all of the things are very great na. So, uh, yung talagang na, ano ako, namangha talaga ako sa graphics and to to visually illustrate yung mga sinasabi ko, I'll be rolling some some video intros or some OBBs ng ating mga entries. So, I'll be watch this one out. So, di ba ang galing ng ating mga uh, video editors no sa pagka-craft ng mga OBBs at saka mga transitions and other graphics related to the TV production, no? TV broadcasting production. 
So the only thing I would like to suggest is that you practice that one consistently because in the future competitions, you'll be fighting not only with your colleague, with, 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 with the different divisions or the different regions, but as well as you're fighting against time. Now, though I believe that these OBBs and extras are created beforehand, uh, remember that you'll be doing it on a live live format, no? So, kailangan uh, magkaroon tayo ng presence of mind and you could only achieve that one if you have undergone constant practice, no? Hindi, hindi madali. Hindi po madali ang pagtatiming. Unlike in your journal Olympics today, that you are given ample time to prepare and to to somehow uh, plan for for this activity, no? So, in terms of graphics naman, may isa lang akong na-notice, no? So iwasan po yung parang uh, sa headline yung ma- ma- malalaking leading na space no ibig sabihin yung yung space in between lines ng mga headline kailangan um, medyo naka nakadikit sila at wag yung parang ang layo ng gap or ang white ng gap isa pa yung sa ating mga downstream sa ating mga downstream sa ating mga for example sa mga featured story natin dapat hindi masyadong mahaba yung text na nandiyan dapat before you put downstream on 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 the screen kailangan naka naka ano na siya naka summarize or naka capsulize form na siya na, na naka bite size na siya pagbasa kasi nga pag masyadong mahaba na yung ano masyadong mahaba na yung text it defeats the very purpose of TV broadcasting kasi pag naglagay ka diyan ng mahabang mahabang text ay sana pinabasa mo na lang sila ng newspaper ganun yun yung ano parang ganun yun yung motto no, parang ganun yun yung uh, yung tawag nito rationally behind so before you put downstream be sure that it it was already capsulized at naka na na summarized na so para maging perfect talaga ang package no so that's about the graphics no sa, sa delivery naman uh, yung projection or yung uh, i mean delivery yung projection ng mga ano uh, projection ng mga anchors and reporters are actually good no very good at saka dapat seryoso po talaga yung mukha natin in terms of uh, delivering reports of our very the, delivering hard reports no yung mga yung mga hard stories natin dapat serious yung mukha at as much as possible do not smirk no huwag kayong magpakita na nag-smile kayo so there is a certain ano there is a certain impact kasi kapag nagde-deliver ng seriously ang isang uh, ng isang ang isang TV reporter in front of the camera Uh, kesa yung nakatawa siya or nakangiti siya para bang hindi siya serious except na lang if the, the 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 mood of the the mood of the scope or the mood of the story is light no pwede sila mag-smile pero in such cases na hard yung news hard yung facts be serious in delivering it and uh, next is about blocking the man's stage i have noticed na uh, meron uh, i don't know about others but I I am not amenable na for example my screen ka tapos yung tayo ng anchor or reporter is against the screen meaning you're facing the different direction I guess that's an error in blocking no kasi nga uh, dapat naka-face ka kung saan mo gustong i-lead yung mga mata ng inyong manonood so I have occasionally witnessed this in in the three entries natin meron meron kasi yung parang they are facing against uh, the screen no na kanilang ibino project so iwasan po natin yun as much as possible fix that one the director must immediate the directors of the team of each team must immediately uh, cite that particular instance no and fix that one immediately again nasa practice po yan no nasa ating practice yan kung makikita ba natin yung flow in the blocking So aside from those mentioned, wala na talaga akong pwede pang ma-comment sa mga ano, sa mga outputs ng ating participants in the TV broadcasting. No, sayang lang at may tatlo lang tayong participants, but uh, that doesn't mean na yung pinapakita ng ating mga mga kalahok ay very mediocre. In fact, they uh, passed and uh, surpassed the the expectation that I have set for them, no, sa aking sarili. So, congratulations para sa ating mga ano, uh, mga TV broadcasters. At diyan po nagtatapos ang ating sharing of the different competition na dinaos po ninyo sa inyong first ever Journal Olympics. At pasensya na po kung medyo napahaba-haba po yung ating discussion simply because uh, marami siguro hindi ko siguro na 
napansin yung time and I'm very very sorry for the background noises na nasa likod kasi ang dami pong pusa dito sa bahay no but so much about that one let me extend once again my congratulations to the group especially to Sultan Kudarat and Ma'am Grace Laysa for successfully pulling this event and for carrying out this event despite the different health restrictions